Boring. Nice. You can use code Rumble at checkout for twenty percent off. The code will be valid for the next two weeks. After that, it'll be ten percent off. Now I'm calling this an update, but really, it's more than that. I completely reworked the entire preset. So I'm gonna double click to install. It's gonna bring up my DaVinci Resolve. For you, it's gonna say install. For me, it's gonna say overwrite because I already have it installed. So I'm overwrite. From here, I'm gonna go into the effects panel. Is the effects tab is closed? Simply drop, hit the drop down. You're gonna scroll down. You just see a new folder it says Rumble Pack. I'm gonna drop down next to it. You have a new file structure. It's divided up between the X and Y axis and also X and Y together. And then you also have continuous. I'll demonstrate what each one of them is. I have a clip here from the Metro Booming music video from the new Spider-Man movie. Have y'all seen it yet? Drop a comment down below, let me know. I'm going to go into the effects panel and grab an adjustment clip. I'm going to place it on my timeline and I'm going to shorten it to what time I want it. I'm going to shorten it about right here. The new preset, the shake is actually timable according to your adjustment clip. So if I go back to my effects panel, click on Rumble Pack, I'm going to go with the X axis since the door is closing from left to right. X is left and right, Y is up and down. So I'm going to click on it and you have you have three different scales of uh, strength. You have, you have light, mid, and heavy, and then you also have light, mid, and heavy X axis with a zoom, kind of like a screen pump effect. So for this, I'm going to go with light. I'm just going to grab it and drop it on the adjustment clip. Over in Spectre tab, I'm going to click on effects. Shout out to Suave for helping me with the branding of the preset. I'll leave a link for his page in the description down below. Another DaVinci Resolve creator who also creates presets and stuff. So make sure to check out his page. You still have the brightness flash. I don't really need it for this, but I'm just going to demonstrate it. The flash has been reworked and the color of it is actually more or less depending on the clip that you planned it on. If I go down here to the bottom, you have flash color. You can change it. It's mostly blue because the clip is Then yeah, I add a little red to it, a little green or go back and forth. Just make it make a mixture of different colors. You also increase the intensity as well if you want to. But for this, I don't need it. So I'm just going to hit this little checkbox to cut it off. If you have any problem with your rendering or caching, right click, click render cache, and then make sure you click on the effect name. And then I have my playback set to render cache none. So I'm going to switch it to user. Then I'm going to right click and then hit render cache color output. And that's going to render out the effect. So as the door closes, you get a quick, subtle little light camera shake. But now I'm going to inspect the tab if I want to. I can actually increase the strength. Each one of these have a preset strength to them, but you can increase or decrease depending on which one you're using. And so if I want something else in between the light, mid, and heavy, I can do that by adjusting the rumble strength. And if I play it back, it's just slightly a little stronger. Of course, if I go all the way up to two, which is the heavy, the effect is a lot more stronger, but still not outrageous. And there's two points of impact here. He goes the door, then he bumps the door. So I can go and grab another adjustment clip. I can shorten this down. I can grab a X zoom if I want to. And the screen pump shake effect will play throughout the duration of the clip. But each time it also gradually tapers off towards the end, return the clip back to this default framing. So if I, even if I stretch this all the way out, play it, it's going to continue to shake and it'll taper off towards the end. So you can make the shake effect as long or short as you want to. And in order to get the full effect with the flash, you have to use adjustment clips or if I delete this and say, for instance, I split this clip, I can right click and turn this to a new compound clip. And then I can bring down the preset and add it to it and I still get my flash. And that's because the flash is a preset of keyframes, whereas the camera shake automatically scales to wherever your clip is. So if I hit control Z, go back to the default clip and I just have it split and I don't care about the flash, just drag and drop and it will just automatically just play. And it will still gradually tape off towards the end. So however long your clip is, is how long the shake will be. If you want more control of it, use an adjustment clip. Now, have a clip like this with those black bars on the top and bottom. I can grab an adjustment clip. I'll shorten it. And I'm going to grab a X and Y scale. 
You go to the inspector tab. I'm gonna cut out the flash. And you know these kind of shake around, but it you you can see the border. So if you want to try to get rid of that, there's two ways to do it. You can click on your clip itself. Actually, I'm gonna do this with this for right now. You can click on the clip itself and then zoom in to get rid of that border. But if you don't want to do that, you can go back into the preset, go into the effect, and then you have the zoom crop. You can crank it up to 2.5, which is the max. If you want to, you can keyframe it. So I would keyframe here at the max and then basically go to the last frame with the adjustment clip and then drop back down to zero. And doing that, it'll allow your clip to return gradually back to its default state. All the presets have a natural fade off at the end with the exception of the continuous. So if I go back into the adjustment clip and I hit delete on this effect, and go into continuous. Within this folder, you have X, Y, and X and Y at the same time. I'm gonna grab X, Y, mid. I'm gonna drop it down. The only difference is it's gonna continuously shake throughout the entire clip, so it has no fall off. So no matter how long I make it, it's just gonna to continue to shake. And back in the Spectre tab, you can control the motion blur. You can also change the border type. So if you want the default was black, you get the black transparency background. I'm gonna leave it at reflect, but you do have the option to change it. Remember to use code Rumble at checkout for 20% off. You get 27 presets along with six sound effects. And until the next video, y'all be easy.